Well, the countdown is officially on for the release of Eternals. From the star-studded cast to its award-winning director, this soon-to-be blockbuster is only playing in theaters, and fans cannot wait. So here to talk all things Eternals is our movie buddy, one of the greatest Hollywood insiders of all time, and senior editor at Fandango. Please welcome Sir Eric David. <laughs> What's up, OG? Hi, Eric with a K. What's up? How's it going? How's it going? You know, keeping hope alive, Eric. Keeping hope alive. I'm glad you're doing good, and I'm glad you're joining us this morning because this is a pretty huge deal as far as we can tell, right? And people have been buying tickets for the movie already, so how are advanced sales going? How does it compare yeah, to other Marvel movies? Uh, very good, actually. This is the second biggest movie of the year when it comes to advanced ticket sales at Fandango. The only movie that has topped Eternals is Black Widow. Black Widow, of course, was the first Marvel movie in two years to hit theaters, so there was a lot of pent-up anticipation. Plus, Black Widow was uh, sort of a legacy character for Marvel. We've seen her in a bunch of other films. Uh, this time around, a uh, brand new cast, whole new adventure, and so it's really great to see how well it's performing. It just goes to show you the strength of that Marvel brand, uh, that even when nobody knows who the characters are, uh, it's still the second biggest ticket seller of the year so far. Yeah, and I, it's inter interesting how you said Black Widow because Black Widow was available on Disney Plus and in theaters, but Eternals is just in theaters alone. So we're going to see how that plays out. It's probably going to work in their favor because people have to go see it anyway. Without a doubt, yeah. Shang-Chi was dissimilar. Uh, Disney started, started doing that with Shang-Chi, which came out in uh, September, where their movies are going to be in theaters for a period of time uh, exclusively before they're available uh, to watch at home, either on Disney Plus or you can rent them or buy them on Voodoo. All right, so talk to me about this uh, survey Fandango did for the audience members that are going to go see Eternals. What did you guys find out? Well, it's interesting. You know, we surveyed over a thousand moviegoers uh, and asked them, why do you want to see this movie? 98% uh, of them are excited to see it because of the new characters, that they're it's fresh. Uh, they don't know who these characters are, so they're going to go on a new original adventure. And then 97% of people uh, want to see it because it's different, because it's not like any of the other Marvel movies. And I, that's what I want to stress to people, is that even if you are not some Marvel fan that you haven't watched all 20-some-odd Marvel movies beforehand, you don't know how they all connect to each other, that's fine. The only thing you really know, need to know to watch this movie is, is the events of Avengers Endgame, where half the universe was snapped away and then they half the universe came back. That's really the only plot point that factors into this film. Mm -hmm. And so it's a completely fresh adventure, and I think that's why audiences are excited. All right, so I just want to remind people that I, I did say that you are one of the greatest movie insiders <laughs> of all time. So when you say a movie is unique, you mean that in every sense of the word. So we have a clip of Eternals, we're going to take a look, and you're going to tell us why you say it's unique. Let's take a look. Okay. We need to find the others. I haven't seen some of them for centuries. Hi. Hello. This is what the end of the world looks like. At least we have front row seats. You know what's never saved the planet? Your sarcasm. All right, see, I chuckled at that. I like it already. So tell us what, what you mean and what makes it so different? Well, what makes it different is this is the most diverse cast that Marvel has ever had in a film before. We have Gemma Chan, Angelina Jolie, Richard Madden, Kumail Nanjiani, Brian Tyree Henry, Lauren Ridloff, among others. Uh, and it's also directed by Chloe Zhao, mm -hmm. who you might remember having won the Best Director Oscar last year for Nomadland. She also won Best Picture. This is the first time a Marvel movie has ever been directed by someone who's won those top Oscars, especially that Best Director Oscar. So the pedigree for this film is sort of on another level as well, on an Oscar-winning level. Uh, and the film itself uh, it sort of follows a group of what they're dubbing Earth's original superheroes. They were tasked with helping humans evolve after defeating their arch enemies, the Deviants. But when half the universe does return at the end of Avengers Endgame, so do the Deviants. And so the Eternals have to come out of hiding. Uh, and that is why we have never seen them in any other Marvel movie is because they were in hiding, uh, staying out of the other conflicts. But now they are back. Uh, and it really does stand apart and it stand alone 
from the other Marvel movies. And that's why I think it's also really special uh, because you don't have to have known uh, everything Listen, that's happened before. Eric for the K. Davis, you are special. You are the best. Thank you for <laughs> filling us in. We are prepared to watch this movie and hopefully we'll see how this all plays out of the box office. We'll see you soon. Fandango.com is the website. Thank you, Eric. Bye. Love y'all, G. Bye.